नमस्कार इंडिया मेटोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम्स यू इन वीकली वेदर डिस्कशन सो इन द वीकली वेदर डिस्कशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल लुक इनटू द वेदर रियलाइज्ड ड्यूरिंग पास्ट वन वीक सो द द बिगेस्ट हाईलाइट ऑफ द वीक वाज द लैंडफॉल ऑफ द वेरी सीवियर साइक्लोनिक स्टॉम बीपर जो विच मेड इट्स लैंडफॉल बिटवीन मांडवी ऑफ गुजरात एंड कराची ऑफ साउथ पाकिस्तान नियर जखाऊ पोर्ट विद मैक्सिम सस्टेन विंड स्पीड ऑफ वन फिफ्टीन टू वन ट्वेंटी फाइव के एम पी एच गस्टिंग टू वन फोर्टी के एम पी एच एंड देर आफ्टर इट स्टार्टेड वीकनिंग इन टू सीवियर साइक्लोनिक स्टॉम दैन साइक्लोनिक स्टॉम एंड फर्दर इन टू डीप डिप्रेशन एंड देन इन टू अ डिप्रेशन सो ड्यू टू दिस Uh, uh, very severe cyclonic storm beeper joy and uh, the movement of its remnant uh, towards northeast uh, we can see over here that extremely heavy falls more than 20 cm rainfall was realized over north gujarat and south rajasthan region and also heavy to very heavy falls were realized over northeast rajasthan and uh, thereafter also heavy to very heavy rain was realized over northwest mp and over southern parts of west up and during this week also the uh, western parts of assam subhimalayan west bengal and sikkim and meghalaya experienced uh, extremely heavy falls greater than 20 cm uh, uh, rainfall and uh, uh, further there was also a, a system a, an an offshore trough along uh, this uh, uh, west coast and uh, and a cyclonic circulation was there over uh, southwest bay of bengal and adjoining parts of uh, west central uh, west central uh, bay of bengal. bengal and under the influence of this uh, uh, this cyclonic circulation also heavy to very heavy rainfall occurred over northern parts of tamil nadu and also heavy rainfall occurred over the uh, over uh, coastal andhra pradesh so the 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 first feature was this uh, scenario of heavy rainfall occurring over rajasthan gujarat over parts of southern peninsula and over over uh, the uh, parts of northeast india and due to this uh, the the southwest monsoon made its uh, progress and uh, uh, as we can see over here that uh, till today uh, entire northeast india most parts of uh, south peninsular india and some parts of uh, Uh, east india have been covered by southwest monsoon and the uh, the northern limit of monsoon is uh, today uh, passing through raichur of uh, uh, ratnagiri of southern parts of maharashtra raichur of uh, karnataka khammam of telangana and then malkangiri and uh, para para lakhemundi of odisha and then uh, haldia of uh, west bengal and bokaro of uh, jharkhand and uh, patna and raksol of bihar and this southwest monsoon is like to cover uh, uh, some uh, likely to cover uh, remaining parts of west bengal uh, some more parts of uh, uh, some more parts of jharkhand bihar and odisha and also some more parts of karnataka and uh, telangana during next 2 to 3 days and another feature of this uh, the, the the passing week was the uh, uh, heat wave to severe heat wave conditions in which the maximum temperatures see departures above normal by by more more than 6 degree centigrade and this belt uh, extending from east up east up uh, up to telangana and north coastal andhra pradesh across bihar jharkhand uh, east madhya pradesh chatisgarh vidarbha and interior parts of odisha experienced uh, severe heat wave conditions uh, uh, for last 10 to 12 days and these heat wave conditions uh, started uh, 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 started weakening uh, started reducing in, in intensity since last 2 to 3 days when the monsoon current came over the parts of east india and uh, uh, further uh, seeing further reduction in these heat wave conditions today the heat wave conditions have abated from all parts of the country today we are only getting uh, one or two stations uh, uh, one station of uh, east up in uh, satisfying the heat wave criteria otherwise the heat wave conditions have abated from the entire country so now if we look into the further uh, further uh, uh, expected the the weather so we can see over here that today there is uh, the low pressure area the remnant of the very severe cyclonic storm beeper joy is lying over central parts of uttar pradesh and a, a, a lower level trough is extending from punjab to this uh, 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 low pressure area so this low pressure area although would be less marked by tomorrow morning 
but then again a cyclonic circulation is going to form by around 23rd 24th over northwest bay of bengal and this trough over punjab is going to extend up to this uh, cyclonic circulation over northwest bay of bengal and then we can we, we are very likely to experience another uh, spell of heavy rainfall over uh, uh, over over this northwest india when we can see over here that uh, uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall uh, conditions are likely uh, during 20 24th to 26th of june uh, right from himachal pradesh and punjab up to east uttar pradesh including uttarakhand haryana and and west uttar pradesh and this would continue to till 26th of june and thereafter another cyclonic circulation is likely to form over uh, northwest bay of bengal of odisha coast by 26th of uh, june and and this cyclonic circulation is uh, uh, likely to uh, uh, convert into intensify into a low pressure area by 28th of june and this will uh, this will exhibit a west northwestward movement across central india and uh, uh, as it comes close to the clo uh, close to the uh, uh, western uh, western india then the due to supply of high moisture into this system this uh, low pressure area would have uh, would have would see intensification and as we can see over here that uh, there is likelihood of heavy to very heavy rainfall and also extremely heavy falls may occur over uh, central india and then over uh, 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 west india uh, from from 26 27 june onwards till 1st of june as we can see over here that in this week uh, uh, starting from 30th june to 6th of july uh, during first part of this week uh, uh, extremely heavy falls are likely so uh, this entire central india and this entire west india uh, central india during the latter half of this week and uh, uh, west india during the first half first half of the second week uh, that is uh, uh, around between 28th june to uh, first, first of July is likely to receive uh, uh, heavy to very heavy falls and this will lead to the coverage of uh, south southwest monsoon over the most parts of the country except over the parts of uh, northwest India especially over Rajasthan and uh, parts of Punjab and now if we come over to uh, maximum temperature forecast then we can see over here that in the first week the uh, since as we have seen that the uh, uh, heat wave conditions have abated over the uh, from the from the east india and the parts of adjoining central india and north peninsular india and since we are expecting another spell of heavy to very heavy rainfall after after the current spell uh, uh, due to the due to the remnant low pressure area of the uh, very severe cyclonic storm beeper joy we are expecting another spell from 24th over the uh, nor nor northwest india including himachal pradesh uttarakhand punjab haryana and up so due to this again the maximum temperatures would uh, see a fall over this entire region and and then again as we are expecting another spell of uh, uh, another spell of heavy heavy to very heavy falls over central india and uh, over west india so so the uh, so the maximum temperatures are not likely to uh, uh, cross the heat wave condition criteria and therefore there is no likelihood of heat wave conditions during next two weeks so that's all for today tomorrow uh, uh, next week we will again meet with weekly weather discussion for the uh, uh, realized weather uh, during past one week and the weekly weather forecast for next uh, two weeks uh, thank you and goodbye